Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chucky Lambert, and we have sectionals football here tonight for all of you. <clears throat> With your Farmington Knights and the Festus Tigers facing off, the Knights had a close game last week with the Hillsboro Hawks narrowly getting the victory. It was a really an offensive battle throughout. We have about five minutes until kickoff here. Both teams set to go, both black and gold, both F, you could say, Festus Farmington. Kind of the same look going on. Both are very competitive teams. Um, as for the Knights, uh, questionables for tonight. You have Tyson Gray, someone who's a key part of this team. Uh, hopefully we'll be playing tonight, had a, uh, ankle foot injury earlier in the season, had to sit out the first, uh, game in districts against the Hawks, uh, very sad, he definitely wanted to play, didn't have full strength in his foot quite yet, but, uh, if he could be on the field tonight, the Knights would love that, uh, Caden Files, the backup QB for Carson Sutton, if I'm not mistaken, uh, has been playing pretty well, not a lot of passing play come from the Knights anyway, a lot more run-based play, but in general, uh, you like to see it when every now and then Caden Files gets to throw the ball 30, 40 yards. Sometimes it you know, breaks big with the playmakers like Royce Harris, Robbie Simmons, Gavin Early, Tyson Gray when he's healthy. You know, All those guys, uh, they can really make a wild offense when they're all really clicking on full cylinders. <coughs> <coughs> Festus is a very competitive team. Uh, somebody who I'm not mistaken, we played last year and uh, they beat us. But with a win here tonight, the Knights could move on or the Festus Tigers could move on to play West Plains, which uh, is definitely one of the better teams in Missouri. Uh, neither team is exactly looking forward to facing this team as they're very competitive. But um, just a win here could give anybody hope. It's anybody's football game once it actually starts. Festus now warming up, about to get it underway here. <clears throat> a player to watch out for is Royce Harris as uh, we've seen all year long when he really gets going it seems like this nice offense is unstoppable Royce will get that ball and he'll just find the gap next thing you know he shoots through it takes off and it's a touchdown you really can't stop it um and I know these football seniors on this night team, and I'm sure on Festus too, both are wanting to advance, try to make the state, if not even to, well, the sectionals, if not even to state. Because um, that, that's just a huge accomplishment for any team, just saying you made it and were able to compete is a nice thing to be able to say you can do, or you did. Captain's now going out to flip the coin. You have Tyson Gray, Ethan Burke, <coughs> Dalton Berg, and you also have Alex Smith out there to flip the coin for Farmington. Festus, I can't quite see their numbers. It's a very bright yellow on top of a white jersey. It's quite hard to see from here with the, the Knights players in the way. I'm going to imagine it's another group of seniors, potentially a junior or two. Coaches shake hands. Refs are talking it over with the players now. They're getting ready to flip the coin. About a minute till kickoff now. Things are about to get underway. <coughs> Both teams are set. Knights will be receiving to start off the game. Ready to get that offense kick started. The, the sidelines are hyped. They want to come out here open first. First blood if you would call it. They want to come out here and set the tone. Hopefully get the ball back and go from there. But we'll see. 
how it all works out. Receiving team now back for Farmington. Royce Harris and Eli Lamb are back deep for Farmington. With Royce Harris, when he gets the ball in hand, anything can happen. It's kind of crazy. Bess is now about to boot it away. As there's the kickoff back deep to Roy Eli Lamb, my bad, Lamb. Now on the return, breaks a tackle, makes a few people miss. He's going now to the 40, and he's down about at the 42, maybe the 43. A nice return, broke a tackle, made a man miss, and before you know it, he found a little bit of open field. Potentially an injury now for the Knights. Uh, player taking a little long to get off the field. An injury timeout now from the officials as uh, our very own Dave Burke will be checking on him. Seeing if the player is all right. It's a shame seeing a player go down this early in the game already. Really like a nice, competitive, healthy game, but it's the sport of football. Cuttingham now stands up, walks off the field. Hopefully we'll be able to see him come back in the game here in a little bit. Much younger player, if I'm not mistaken, he's a sophomore, but uh, great potential is I think he might be a starter on the offensive line and defensive line and uh, also a very young varsity wrestler already. Bright potential for uh, Judd coming up through the high school ranks. As the Knights offense is set to take the field, as it looks like Tyson Gray is on the field, which that's a relief for uh, the Knights, as that's just another weapon in the offense that they have. Eli Lamb, <coughs> or my bad, uh, Caden Files hands it off to Royce Harris. And uh, Royce gets a couple yards. Number 47, Jack Robinson on the tackle. Royce Harris gets a couple yards on the carry. Maybe one. Files now under center again. He's got a receiver out wide. Gray in movement. He gives it off to Keeps it this time. And again, Caden Files gets another yard. Maybe two. Files lines up again under center, puts Royce in movement. Royce now gets it on the pitch, sees some space. He breaks out a little bit. Royce comes about to the 50-yard line, maybe the 51. Not quite enough for the first, but let's see what Farmington does, and then imagine they'll kick her away. Yep, and it looks like Kraus is coming out to kick her off or to punch it away, my bad. Quick four and out for Farmington. Um, four straight run plays uh, didn't turn out too hot, but uh, and there's a dropped punt. Kraus though picks it up, regains, and gets it off. Knights are everywhere down there. Is they're just gonna be able to swallow this up anyway, right on about 15 yard line. <coughs> on Festus's 15, uh, just to clarify. Uh, 
tonight's defense has been relatively strong all year. Um, they're definitely more known for their offense, though. They have a bunch of playmakers, but this defense has definitely uh, been strong for a lot of the year. They really showed up in games like um, North County, <coughs> uh, Sykes, and played some really good defense. As they uh, best of friends it right up the middle for a little to no gain. Brick Haas on the carry, Austin Phelps on the tackle. Second and seven now, Asbestos will hand it off again. A man coming up, he found a little bit of space, but gets swallowed up by three or four nice defenders. Give him four, four or five yards right there, good pickup for Festus. As it'll be about third and three or four, I'd say. First and ten. My bad. I was mistaken. Did not look like uh, the running back game that much. I did not think he traveled that far. That's on me. <coughs> but Festus now again will be lining up. Quarterback under center. Two backs behind him. As he hands it off now, running back breaks up the middle now. Wyatt Westbrook coming back now. This the running back is going all the way. He has got some wheels. What a run! Number twenty-three, Jaden Rystrom, a five-six, hundred and forty-five pound junior. Got the ball, saw a little bit of field, and just took off with his blazing speed. Wyatt Westbrook was the only safety back. It was the only chance to really stop him before you knew it. <coughs> Reichstrom was uh, gone for the touchdown as uh, Festus now was going to go for the two-point. Opts to take the extra point instead. As it is through for the extra point, it is seven to nothing. Festus to your Fonz and Knights. The Knights came out, uh, stopped them on the first couple plays. Festus uh, got the first down before you knew it. They uh, threw a little just handoff, a little misdirection, I guess you could call it. Ran the running back off the left side, coming up the field, and just saw some daylight and turned the burners on. Nice. We'll be back to receive again. Royce Harris and Eli Lamb. If I'm not mistaken, it is Ryan Esperaza kicking the ball off for Festus. Flyers are now is about to put a boot on it back deep for Farmington. <coughs> right to Lamb as Lamb will try to set his team up with another good return as he's trying to find some open field now, breaking a couple tackles. He gets about to the 32 or 33, another decent return. Um, sets his team up with solid field position to hopefully move forward and get some points on the board. Farmington definitely wants to come back and put some points up now, considering they're down early. <coughs> you don't want to give Festus too much momentum early in this game to where, you know, you get to the point where you're just out of luck so early. Nice now. Ready to get this underway. Files under center. Finds in motion. Fakes it. They're throwing the ball. Files puts it deep. Dropped. Ball intended for Eli Lamb. 
or maybe Sam Nicholson. I couldn't quite get a look. I'm almost certain it's Sam Nicholson. It was. Went deep about 40 yards to Sam Nicholson. Just uh, went a little too good of coverage there. Couldn't uh, catch the defense lacking. Simmons running out there to huddle, relaying the play. They're ready to get going. Again, follows under center with three backs in the backfield, a receiver out wide. Harrison motion. They give it to Files, keeps it, and runs it up the middle for about three or four yards. Down and six to go. Files under center again. Barnes in motion. Fakes the handoff. Another passing play. He's thrown it up deep to Royce. Royce jumps up and comes down with the catch. What a play. Caden Files launches the ball almost 30 yards. Royce goes up, mosses the defender on him with no problem and makes it look like it's nothing. And now the Knights are first and 10 on the 29-yard line. They're ready to go. <clears throat> Looking to score now. Files under center. Shown off his arm a little bit today. Gives a little pitch off to Harris now. Running the ball. Trying to find for some yards. He might have gotten a few. Only a yard on the play, second and nine. Seven minutes and 36 seconds left in this first quarter. Festus leads Farmington 7 2 nothing. Farmington's looking to retaliate. Caden Files under center now. Barnes in motion. They give off to Tyler Barber as he's taking it up the middle again, only for a yard or a couple at best. Third down and seven to go. Farmington now is trying to do something. They really want to put some points on the board, not trying to have another drive unanswered. Uh, you're questioning, is this field goal range for Farmington, or is this fourth down territory? As now Eli Lamb under center again. Barnes goes in motion with a little fake. Pitches it to Royce Harris. Royce tries to find some room, but he gets swallowed up about at the line of scrimmage. Does Farmington go for the fourth down conversion here at fourth and seven, or do they go for the uh, three points? I do not see Kale Kraus heading out to the field, so I have a feeling they're going to go for it here on fourth down, being on their own 30-yard line. But I have a big feeling we're probably going to see a Caden Files throw, or I would like to see it at least. A little wide receiver sweep. Eli Lamb's coming up the sideline. They're trying to get it. It is Festus's ball as Farmington could not get the first down. It looks like they might have gotten it for a hot second there, but um, just a bit short. Festus now lines up after they had about a three or four play drive last time out for a touchdown, hoping to repeat the process as here they go. Gives it off to the running back right into the line and down for a couple yards. Second and about eight, seven. 
close enough. is now lined up quarterback under center got a player in motion gives the handoff after a fake and they pull him down after another few yards last time out third time was the charm for Festus let's see here Back under center. Flag on the defense. Austin Phelps will get offsides, I'm going to imagine. Tyson Gray isn't playing defense right now. Um, surprising, but at the same time, you know, use him where you need him. Don't want to ruin the player. He obviously plays a lot of basketball after this. Don't want to force anything that doesn't need to happen. As uh, another running back for Festus, they run two or three of them. Breaks away for quite a few yards for another first down for Festus. This lines up again. Under center puts a few players in motion. Another handoff to the back as he's going right up the middle. This Festus offensive line really deserves a trophy right now just for what they're doing. Really just moving the chains, running the ball, keeping their head down. Some solid offense right now. <clears throat> There's actually a flag on the field. going to be a holding on the offense. Nevertheless, it's first and 10 on Festus's 45. Players in motion. Doyle under center for Festus. There's the handoff again to the running back. Ryan Barnes takes him down with some fury, though. Stopping the run up the middle. Second and ten now. Let's see what Farm Tim's going to do on defense. Some players in motion. Doyle for Festus is under center again. Two backs in the backfield. Fay handoff and then a handoff out wide. He broke a couple tackles and finally gets taken down after a huge game. Jaden Reichum, this, this running back is very explosive. He can just go one direction and take off and then head another one real quick. It's kind of it's real quick and light on his feet. It's uh, in, um, a very entertaining to watch. Fest is now moving the ball with some success with 2.40 left in the first quarter. Fest is now under center and puts a man in motion. There's the handoff again, right up the middle. Seems like uh, a lot of the time it's really just Festus getting two, three yards on the first few plays, and then they're breaking relatively bigger on like third and short plays. Even though they're just running the ball, it's just the different kinds of runs they're doing and the mismatches and fakes. Or uh, Farmington really just hasn't got a click on it yet. Now, with a 
another handoff and another run stop for third down. About third and five at best, I'd say. Cousins now lines up with another handoff right up the middle. And I'm going to imagine that will get the first down for him as the running back took it ahead strong. <coughs> it is a first down for the Tigers. Festus now has about a minute to go in this quarter. 7 nothing. Festus still slowly, methodically moving their way down this field, trying to get a 14 nothing lead. As uh, that'll be a timeout for Festus. Thought it was a delay of game there for a second, but uh, I imagine they were probably just avoiding that. For the most part, it seems like this Farmington defense can't really get a solid beat on the offense yet. Festus is just really mixing up a lot of looks, mixing up a lot of switches and fakes. Really just um, catching the Farmington defense on its heels a lot more. Um, Farmington's had a few, uh, a little bit of success in offense, uh, really more in the passing game. As the running game has been relatively stopped every single play. Had a couple decent games, nothing crazy. But uh, Festus is really coming out in one way, and they can't answer right now. So if it's not broken, don't fix it. So um, Festus coach is just doing what he knows. Festus now has to line up and get it back underway. First and 10, 50 seconds left in the first, 7 to nothing. As it's going to be a handoff right up the middle. And if I'm not mistaken, Royce Harris on the tackle. Really just broke down and took him down. is lining back up under center. The handoff again and some more good yardage for Festus. That run game is just consistently working over and over again. As that is the end of the first quarter, Festus Tigers are leading your Farmington Knights 7-0. to zero. Um, The Farmington Knights just really, like I said, look off their heels, or on their heels, my bad, on the defensive end. And on offense, they're just really not clicking yet. They've gotten a pass play to connect that went for a lot of yardage on a big play. Hopefully that would have swung some of them their way, really didn't. Uh, run game still with stoppage, I know. <coughs> we all know is a large part of their offense. And um, Festus is just clicking when it comes to, you know, their blocks, their blocking assignments, running the ball. It's really all just, you know, working for them. As um, they're just marching down the field now, and they're planning to score again if this defense Farmington doesn't buck up and, you know, handle their business, handle their jobs. Yeah, it's coming in, uh, to the end of this first half. We have about 12 minutes. One quarter left. Uh, Farmington really needs to retaliate with the score next time they get the ball. Hopefully, well, not hopefully, um, the Knights hopefully don't want to give up another score. But um, if it comes to that, it, it, you know, 
it's not looking good for anybody on this nice team. As the defense is trotting back out, they really need to make a stand now here in the red zone. Seven to nothing, like I said. Bestus now under center. Put a man in motion. There's the handoff. They go right up the middle now. And the man gets stopped in the backfield. This is now second and seven. Ready to go at the touchdown again. See if they're going to stay in the ground. Under center. And there's the handoff now. What a tackle. Alex Smith breaking down, making the play. If he lets that defender go, it's, or if he lets that running back go, it's potentially a touchdown. Good wrap up. Good everything. Third and eight. Farmington wants to make the stop. Do not want to give up another score right here. Curious to see if Bessis would go for three right here. Or if this is fourth down territory for him. Another handoff. Again, gets stopped in the backfield. Eight up by this Farmington defense. Making a stand. Fourth and probably about nine. If they count the yards, he got pushed back any. Fourth and 11. Let's see if Festus will be going for it again. This is it. All in all out play. 11 yards from the touchdown. They got to convert it here. Let's see what Farmington can do. Another handoff. I don't. Keeper, my bad, from the quarterback. And he's just going to be able to trot into the end zone. What a play. Ran all the way around to the weak side. Saw some open space and just darted into the end zone when he could. Fourteen, my bad, 13 nothing Festus. kind of play is this they will be kicking it away I guess kind of some trickery they got going on right here the extra point is good for Festus 14 nothing Festus with 9 59, basically 10 minutes left in this first half. Farmington wants to come back, retaliate now. Or, it, we remember this game can be slowly slipping away, and it's winter, go home at these stages of the game. So, you really got to bring your A game, you know what I mean? If uh, Farmington's not here to compete at their highest level, then it's just how it is. general, that was um, some quality defense on the plate, stopping the run on three straight plays, and then the quarterback uh, breaks away from the pressure and happens to find a little bit of space with no defenders. Uh, really, only two defenders were back there for uh, Farmington, but they really couldn't step up and make a play. As Royce Harris and Eli Lamb are back deep again for the kickoff. Ryan Esparza will be booting it away for Festus. Here we go. The kick is away. And Royce Harris will have the ball. See if he can do anything. 
Luis Harris breaks a few tackles. He keeps moving and gets close to the 40-yard line. Man, a few people missed, got some extra yards. That's what he can do for you. now ready to come out and hopefully perform on offense. Caden Files under center. Tyson Gray is back out there. I'm almost certain. He looks to run up to the middle for Ryan Barnes. Gets a few yards. About five. Back on the offense, Tyson Gray in movement. Caden Files under center. There's another run, right? A little keeper from Caden Files. I, th I think that was actually dropped. And Caden just looked down, picked it up, and took off. Another uh, few yards, uh, about third down, yard to go, give or take for Farmington. Files under center receiver out wide. Gray again in motion. The same motion as last time. There he goes. And again, Caden Files tosses it to Tyson. Tyson gets a few extra yards. Last second toss to Tyson Gray. Good uh, option. First down. Farmington now coming out uh, this drive, getting the first down, ready to hopefully move Farmington on the field. Caden Files under center. Three in the backfield, receiver out far right. Luis Harris is in motion. Handoff right up the middle to Ryan Barnes, I'm going to imagine. Yep. in the backfield again. Tyson Gray again, some fake movement. I'm going to imagine he's going to come back around again. Caden Files under center. There goes Lewis Harris. Another play right up the middle with Ryan Barnes. He's just busting through this line real quick now. Picking up yards on yards. Another first down for Farmington. now under center looks at the defense Harris in motion another hair hand or no and the fake hand off to Barnes and there's Harris way on the outside he takes off now up the sidelines 10 and it's a touchdown Royce Harris last second flick from Caden files and Harris takes it to the house before you know it gets up that sideline and turned on the boosters and he was gone it's barbecue chicken for him Knights shorten the lead, 14 to six, chance to make it seven. Gotta be feeling good after that one, really moved the ball well. Ryan Barnes was a big contributor on that drive. Definitely um, controlled the tempo there. And so here's Kale Krause now to kick it away and it is a laser through the goalposts.
fourteen to seven. Festus Tigers. Six fifty two left in this first half. Your Knights definitely want to try to get the ball over on downs or turnover, however possible. Hopefully come out and score again as the Festus team will be receiving the ball again in the first half or second half, my bad. So they're really trying to come out here and stop the score and hopefully put some more points back on the board. <clears throat> but with both these teams being run-oriented teams, I can't exactly see um, there being a time where, you know, these teams be able to march back and forth and one be able to score and one, you know, not be able to. If, uh, you know, one of the offenses, especially, you know, probably run out for most of this half. Kel Krause now is ready to put her back deep. Farmington is loud and proud tonight. There it is. Line drive. I'm almost certain that I actually touched the player there. Um, that actually stinked off his foot, but the rest didn't call it. This defense of Farmington is really wanting to stand up here, uh, make sure this Festus team doesn't score the ball, trying to keep this a one-score game. Flag on the play during a Festus run. I don't know exactly what it was on or who. holding on the offense another five yards back it's exactly what Farmington really wants right now first down and 20 yards to go, go for Festus they got some players in motion now, lined up, quarterback under center. There's the handoff. Man coming out wide as he is going to pick up some good yardage. Won't quite be a first down, but uh, definitely is going to set him up in a good position for the next play. Second and five, 15 yards on the first play of that. Definitely negates the penalty at all per all, no, overall. Festus now under center. Another handoff back around the other side. And really gets swallowed up this time before he can gain too many yards. Farmington's uh, tracking these switches and fakes a little bit better from Festus, but sometimes you get a few that break away for a few more yards than the rest. is now back under center, ready to go for this first down, third and fourth, four to go, my bad, there's the handoff, and it's a definite first, don't exactly know what happened there, it looked like something, the ball might have fell out, but it's definitely a first down for Festus as long as they still have possession. Festus now plays the ball with the handoff. Running back makes a man miss. You got Royce Harris now in the backfield going to make the tackle and honks his man down, luckily. 
the speed on Royce Harris. Tracked his man as he made a man miss and took off in some open field. Uh, Festus really played a hard run outside, and as the man was cutting out, he uh, made a lineman or linebacker miss and really just took the ball the other way before anyone could react. Good instincts by our safeties there to really track him down at the last minute. Festus now for the big gain. Just back ready as there's the handoff. And Dalton Burt swallows him up behind the line before he could go anywhere. Just a must, just a mount of a man. Eats him up before he could really go anywhere. Second down, 10 to go. Four left in this half. 14 to 7 Festus. Nicely a stop. That's Festus again. Two in the backfield. Got two receivers on the far left. There's the handoff to Rystrom, if I'm not mistaken. And another stop in the backfield by Judd Cunningham. And if I'm not mistaken, Ryan Barnes. Oh, 42, Rothman Harris. My bad. Again, like I said, this uh, Festus offense isn't too much different than the Farmingtons. Farmingtons finally starting to pick up a few cues and fakes that they're doing. Festus now on a big sweep. Royce Harris breaks through but could not get the man. Farmington ends up eating him up as he scratches for a few more yards. It's for sure fourth down, but I don't quite know the yardage. I'm gonna imagine I'm gonna imagine fourth and about three or four. Fourth and one. I'm astonished. Yeah, apparently blind. Shout out to our technical director in the back, making sure all the ones and twos are pressed, Kayla Nielsen. I appreciate your work. You do a great job. Two thirty seven left in the first half, fourteen seven. Festus is that is a timeout for Festus. Fourth and one. I'm going to imagine Festus is going to go for it. Um, this could be a turning point in the game right here. Knights definitely want to get this ball back and try to put something on the board. Halftime is approaching, and I'm sure you're going to have your Farmington Knights marching band, color guard, um, nightline all perform. Uh, during the halftime show, uh, always a good thing watching them. I enjoy it every single game. Uh, I think our drum line's amazing. And then, you know, of course, after 20 or so minutes, we're going to have some more Friday Night Football. <coughs> Festus is coming back out on the field with 2.37 left in this half. Ready to get this game underway. This Farmington team's getting ready on defense. Festus now under center. Three in the backfield. No receivers. As they're taking it up the middle now. And Alex Smith takes him down. But did he get his one yard? Could go either way. Taking an official timeout because the ball is so close. Imagine if they're going to pull out the chains. Out the chain crew now. Players getting a look, and it is Farmington's ball. Alex Smith makes a tackle in front of the first down marker. That is big for Farmington. 
as they can put some points up going into the second half. It's anybody's football game. I just got to take advantage of this opportunity now. now files under center as that will be a flag on the Festus Tigers I'm gonna imagine yes it is five yard offsides that's exactly what Farmington wants right there um, easy mistakes easy yards Files now under center with three in the backfield. Gray in motion. We got one receiver out wide in the right. Or left, my bad. Gray now in motion. A handoff right up the middle to Barber. He doesn't go nowhere. Ball is out. Caden Files falls on it. Uh, a couple yards there. Not many at all. One or two. Three, wow. Chuck is off today, ladies and gentlemen. Farmington basketball, swim, and wrestling, etc., are all uh, right around the corner. Be looking out for those live streams soon as Farmington now is right under center. Well, Cade Files is under center. Farmington's on offense. Receiver out wide, and there's another. Keeper from Caden Files as he tried to pitch it out and gets hawked down by some defenders. But yeah, as I was saying, um, all winter sports will be coming around the corner before long. Live streams coming soon. Uh, I'm very excited for basketball. My favorite time of year. About a minute 20 left in this first half. Farmington now needs to make some noise. Third and five. They really want to try to put some points up no matter if it's three Six, seven, two. They just want some points as Tyson Gray, again, some fake motion files looks at the defense. They're not moving. There we go. Gray again. Another handoff right at the middle. Fourth down. Two or three to go now for Farmington. Going to imagine they're going to go for it with 40 seconds left. Twenty seconds left in this half, and um, Farmington will take a time out. Farmington will be kicking off to start the second half. Again, we're gonna have our ni Farmington night line. Uh, Farmington drum line and marching band performing, and gonna have I'm gonna imagine your color guard will be performing as well. Scoring right before going into half to give any team kind of that little momentum push coming back out, give a little confidence. It can really kind of change a game, scoring at little pivotal moments like that. And with 20 seconds left in the game, Farmington has decided they're going to punt it away. This is going to run out a lot of time. you got Trish Yost coming out on the field, another senior for Farmington. This is going to waste some time and probably put uh, Festus out of scoring opportunity most likely as it's real high and up in the air. 
No one saw it. Let's see where it's going to go. Marshman stops it where it lands with 11 seconds left in this game. Farmington's defense will be coming out now. Uh, just really set to go into this half, come out, see what improvements they can make. Same with Festus as uh, closer to the end of the um, first half, their offense really kind of died down and fell a little bit. Uh, Farmington really just started picking up on the, a lot of their switches and fakes and sweeps. And everything kind of just started clicking for Farmington a little bit on defense and offense. This will probably be the last play of the first half. Maybe one more afterwards. Run up the middle, and he's going basically no work. Taken down by Rothman Harris, and that'll do it for the first half. Festus leads your Farming Tonight's 14-7. to Stay tuned for your halftime show.
welcome back ladies and gentlemen to your Farmington football sectionals game against the Festus Tigers. The first half was um, relatively action packed, you could say 21 total points were scored, all off running plays. Um, Festus in the first quarter really broke out on offense, first uh, drive of the game for them on offense. Took three plays, they took it to the house on a running play, three straight running plays. Um, their next score was uh, much more methodical. They really had a kind of charted on the field, uh, almost stopped on a fourth down. Quarterback uh, made some room for himself, ran into the end zone on the weak side. And then for Farmington, um, nothing really clicked for him until the second quarter. They finally put some offense on the board. After going down 14 to nothing, as Ruiz Harris put on the burners on an outside sweep and uh, ran the ball in for a touchdown. The Farmerton defense in the second quarter really uh, picked up on um, what Festus was doing uh, as it came to switches and uh, their options. Farmington, um, late in the first half, had a uh, big defensive play as they stopped Festus on a uh, fourth down stand. Alex Smith came up with a huge tackle. Hopefully, he thought it would give uh, Farmington some momentum coming into the second half, but Festus will be starting with the ball. We'll see how that goes. So before we get action underway, Farmington, you know, neither neither of these teams is really wanting to go home here tonight with their season being over. But Farmington has really fought through a lot of the season as um, in the past three or four weeks we've uh, been Tyson Grayless, who's been a um, vocal point of our team for most of the part, for most of the time, I guess you could say. About to get on away, both teams warming up. Excited to uh, come out in the second half. It's quite difficult to see Festus's um, numbers and say who they are as a player because it's such a bright yellow or goldish on a white jersey, and it's very um, like Farmington's easy with it being a gold on a black. Dalton Berg now has our guys in a circle. Knights now warming up, Festus warming up, a little night jumping jacks. Not long now, and we'll have some more Friday night football underway. Back at you. And like I said, though, definitely can't wait for basketball season coming around. Um, if I'm not mistaken, tryouts are <clears throat> already underway, if not underway, very, very soon.
And um, once basketball season comes around, of course, you'll probably be hearing my voice a little bit more. Love commentating. The bas Farmington basketball games are always exciting, always action-packed, uh, especially when we start versus you know, teams like Jackson and Sykes and everybody. Uh, they have some really cool, real good athletes that you know can really jump out the gym, it seems like. As we're about to get uh, some second half football underway, Vestas should be receiving. Officials are uh, talking over the last few minutes or the last few uh, things I got to say with coaches, teammates, other officials, not teammates, team players. As uh, Kale Krause of Farmington is back, getting ready to uh, kick her away. That's just uh, lining up out deep. Kale Krause now ready to put a boot on her. As he puts it back deep. Fess is now on the return, ready to make something happen. Doesn't get too far. Taken down right after the 25. Farmington on defense, Festus now, quarterback under center with the handoff. Farmington comes out and stops him on the first play. In the backfield, if not mistaken, maybe a yard or two if they're lucky. Festus now on another running play, and Eli Lamb makes the tackle. What a play. Farmington coach. Coaches are getting hyped even. Third and eight now. Second half just getting underway. A little throw play from Festus on a receiver back deep, wide open in the corner. And he's just fighting through Farmington players as he ends up getting almost picked up and slammed. What a play, though, from Festus. Probably their first passing play of the day. And if it's not their first, it's for sure their first completed pass of the day.
Tess is now on another handoff. Gets eaten up by another, well, just a bunch of Farmington players. Pass this now, second and six. Quarterback under center, two in the backfield, and there's another handoff. He gets eaten up right away by this Farmington defense. And I'm mistaken, Alex Smith at Ryan Barnes broke through instantly and grabbed the running back the moment it seemed like he touched that ball. Judd Cunningham, my bad, not Alex Smith. Third down, seven to go. Fess is now quarterback again under center. The running game's not uh, working too well. They're loading up the left side. There's a run play now to the left side, and the running back breaks free. Runs into his Wyatt Westbrook, who gets the tackle. But uh, I have a big feeling that running back got the first down there on that play. He did indeed. This is now coming back on offense. First down. Ten yards to go. Fresh set of downs. Quarterback again under center. Two in the backfield. Two in the far left. Loading up the left side. And here it is again. Another run play to the left side as the running back breaks free and runs out of bounds now. As this is starting to move the ball with some success. And the running back on the play gets eaten up big time by defender Dalton Berg. Puts him down, stops the run before it really even starts. Definitely in the backfield. Should be from where the point of contact is. Probably lost a two or three. Loss of nine. I. I am way off today. It's a sad day. Best is again under center. Another run play up the middle gets stopped. Eight and up. This Farmington defense is picking up on all of their ones and twos right now. As it is third and 17 now. Another run play for Festus as it breaks right at the middle. And Royce Harris can't catch him. Another touchdown for Festus. Festus will be going for, I think, the extra point, but they're going to do this weird trick thing that they do. I don't really get it too much, but. As it's off the upright. No good off the upright. 20-7. to 7. 
6.52 left in the third quarter. This Knights team really needs to come out and uh, produce on offense. Ants are back for sure. Ryan Esparza now back set to kick, ready to kick it deep. He's ready to put a boot on it now as Royce Harris and Eli Lamb are back deep as they kind of just kick it up the middle. And the ninth player falls on it, Kale Kraus, our kicker. Farmington now will be set on offense, ready to go. Caden Files will be lining up under center. Three in the backfield, receiver out far on the right. Let's see what Farmington does. Caden Files now set back. He's going to keep it. He scrambles, and he gets a few yards. Caden Files now under center. Keeper on the play as he tries to go up the middle, gets swallowed up behind the line. Third down, eight to go. 540 left in this third quarter. Farmington now lining up. Caden Files under center. As there's another run play from Tyson Gray. That didn't look too good. He looks like he got buckled up there a little bit wrong. Kale Krause now puts a boot on it back for the punt as it falls down and bounces backwards. Farmington player hurry, it's up, hurry up, hurries up and picks them up though. Best is ball now with 4.45 left in the third. <clears throat> 
Fest's play is stopped relatively quick. Not a huge gain. Seconds two to go. Fess is now on the handoff. Running back goes up the middle. Breaking a couple tackles. We get swallowed up after so long. Farmington now on D. First down, 10 to go. Three minutes left in the third. Festus now with the fake and the handoff. Stopped again up the middle. Town now, or Festus, my bad. Run up the middle is the running back again gets swallowed up. Third down, six to go. Farmington wants to stop right now, if ever. As that'll be a first down for Festus as they just push the ball along. Seems like no matter how many times Festus gets a third or fourth down on that third to fourth down play, they're just coming through on a nice pickup that would have got the first down in the first place. Best is now again on the handoff far outside. Royce Harris, what a hit. Comes across to safety, drills the man. This is again lining up under center. Another handoff. The running back fighting through for a first down, if I'm not mistaken. For sure. As Festus again will move the chains. For the most part, this Tigers team now just keeps trucking along, really can't be stopped, it seems like. Again, under center on another handoff. And three or four Farmington players hop on there. What? Sam Nicholson gives them a little shove. Well, unsportsmanlike conduct almost gets uh, 
Called there for sure. We'll shove. Pestis now, quarterback under center again. Another handoff up the middle. The tackle for Royce Harris. The end of the third quarter, fourth quarter coming up. 12 minutes left in the game, 20 to 7. Festus Tigers, Farmington's trailing. Really need to come with a stop and then need to score after. Those BAM kids are sprinting. Wow. It's winner go home at this stage of the game. Farmington will have to make a little bit of a comeback if they have uh, any hopes of keeping their season alive. Switching sides of the field. Farmington's back, ready to hopefully try to stop the Tigers in the red zone. Best is now under center with the handoff. Running back cuts up the middle and gets pulled down for a second down. Tyler Bar Barber on the stop. Festus now lining up again under center. One receiver out wide. Two running backs in the backfield. Man in motion. There's the handoff, and the man goes up the middle. Again, gets stopped. <clears throat> After another couple yards on the pickup. Third down. Two or three yards to go. Let's see what Festus pulls out of their bag of tricks here. Again, wide receiver out far right, three in the backfield. They're probably going to put a man in motion. There he is. The handoff and right up the middle. Touchdown, Festus Tigers. 27-7 to with 10.44 left in this remaining quarter. Uh, you got to imagine Festus might have just put the little cherry on top right there to end it. Um, Farmington really had to show some crazy offense really to come back. As uh, Festus will be going for the two points, they dump it over all of the defense into the back of the end zone to a wide open wide out for the two point conversion. 28 to 7. Nice will be coming out now to receive. Royce Harris and Eli Lamb are back deep to receive.
Ryan Esparza now kicks it back deep. Judd Cunningham calls for the fair catch. And the Knights will be posted up about on the 30-yard line with 10.40 left in the second half, left in the game. Tyson Gray in motion. Files under center. They give the ball off to Files is keeping it. Confused me even. I'm looking at uh <laughs> running back Tyler Barber looking for the ball and before I look up I look ten yards up the field and Kane Files is uh gone with the ball. Good uh play there for the Knights, moving the chains. Injury for the Festus Tigers on the field. Looks like he got up, walked off the field, all being good. Knights now line up back on offense. 10.38 left in this game. Need to make something happen here quickly. Ball was fumbled and Ryan Barnes just fell on it to make sure uh, Farmington wouldn't lose the ball. Caden Files on the keeper, pitches it. Bye bye. Caden Files kept it, his lead blocker uh, pitched it, if I'm not mistaken. And Caden Files took off and gets another first down now with just under 10 minutes left in this game. Arms now lining back again. Three running backs. One uh, receiver out far right. There's the fake keeper for Caden Files. What's he going to do? He drops back. And really gets just clipped in that leg. Taken down. Not a lot you can do right there. That is a big loss, second 18. Files now back to pass, throws it deep to Sam Nicholson. Pass is dropped. Uh, Nicholson really couldn't quite beat his defender. Armstrong now. Third and eighteen. Caden Files now 
steps back, fakes that. Eli Lamb now on the screen route. Lamb drops it as he just kicks it around on the ground. It's not a fumble, but it is a dropped pass. Fourth and 18, nine minutes to go in the game. Farmington calls a timeout with a little under nine minutes to go. Fourth and 18 off a huge drop pass from Eli Lamb. If he uh, catches that, you know, it has potential to go pretty deep. Farmington is trotting back out onto the field. Looks like they're going to go for it. I'd imagine they'd be passing the ball or going with um, a bigger trick play on like a sweep or something like that with Royce Harris. <clears throat> Caden Files now under center with the receiver out wide left. Three in the backfield. Tyson Gray's in motion, and here it is, the fake. Caden Files now throws it to a man in space. Royce Harris with the catch. He sheds the man and gets some yards down next to the 20-yard line. First down on the play. Touchdown, Farmington. I sadly didn't get to see it. Just missed it. Tyson Gray on the touchdown, though. 28 to 13. Farmington has uh, some life in this game now. Never count them out. It's anybody's game. Farmington go back down, score the ball, make it a two-possession game. But this Festus Tigers team, of course, their offense is very uh, perseverful, I guess you would say. Um, they really take a lot of their uh, you know, downs to third or even fourth sometimes, but it seems like right when they get a third or fourth down, they break out with a 15, 20-yard run instead of 20-yard play. Um, it's really kind of ignorant the way it happens and the way it works out for them, but the offense is effective and it works. So um, it's hard to think that this Knights defense will, um, you know, change in any way, even though it seems like for the most part this Knights defense seems to be getting the better of the offense, of course, like I said, until it's like to the third or fourth down. And this offense just gets a one up on them. Kale Krause. Messes up the kickoff. Doesn't get much on her as she's going to fall to about 
the 41. She barely goes 10 yards. That's uh, not exactly the best thing for the Knights right there. It's a pretty good field position. Pess is now lining up, quarterback under center, running the ball as the quarterback falls. Running back for Festus is breaking out wide now, turns on the burners, and he is going to get pushed out of bounds, but not before picking up some huge yardage. First and 10 on Farmington's 20. This Tiger team sets up quarterback under center. Three backs in the backfield and a receiver out on the far right. As there they go, there's the handoff to the running back on the sweep. And he gets eaten up <clears throat> as he was fighting for yards on yards. And he gets swallowed up by too many Knights defenders. First down, or second down, eight to go now, about on the 18. Festus now again, quarterback lined up under center, two backs in the backfield. As there's the handoff on another sweep play, this Festus team just knows how to find their assignments. As he gets a good running play, for sure a first down. Tigers are about eight yards out now of probably putting the uh, <clears throat> cherry on top for this game. Festus now on the handoff goes to run it up the middle. Gets sat down by a few more Knights players. First and 18 again, Festus lining up now. There's the handoff as they're just going to be trying to run out the clock as fast as possible. About seven minutes left in this game. Knights definitely need to get this ball back and score in a hurry. Festus now on the handoff to the sweep on the far outside as the running back burns up the middle. Couldn't quite get in now. Third down, about five, six yards to go, I think. Six yards. 
force. Now towards the end of the game, I get my um, yardage on point. It's been a little bit since I commentated some Friday night football. Sadly, going to be the last in a little bit, most likely, as long as this game continues on the pace that it is as Festus again under center. Another fake handoff as the quarterback gets taken down behind the backfield sack. Fourth down. About the same amount of yards to go. My bad, no, 10 yards to go now. Lost a couple. Uh, I'm going to imagine Festus will just be going for uh, the touchdown here, being deep in Farmington's territory with six minutes ago. If they happen to score right here, it will most likely ice the game. Quarterback under center, three backs in the backfield. Quarterback drops back on the handoff. The ball is out. And Farmington's hopping on it, but they cannot get the ball, even though it is theirs on downs. Almost caught a huge play if they would have been able to turn that back for a score. Could have turned the game around in a quick hurry. But Farmington has the ball now with six minutes. They need a score and a jip, you could say, to make this game competitive. Make it a one-score game. Potentially, if they'll go for the two-point conversion, which Farmington doesn't do too often, that can make it a, even like a little more in grasp, you could say. But they have to score, get the ball back in a hurry. Score again to even tie the game up as Cade falls under center. Now let's see what the Knights are going to do. He drops back for a pass and puts it up deep to Tyson Gray over his head. Caden Files getting a little arm work in. The throwing the ball a little bit more. Farmington's not too much of a throwing team. Caden Files gets to show it off a little bit here tonight as it's coming down to the wire. Files now lining up under center again. Three in the backfield. Receiver out to the far left. There is the fake handoff as Files is running on the keeper. He gets uh, about six or seven yards on the play, if I'm not mistaken. He got eight or nine, actually. Third and one. 550 left in the game. Farmington needs to make some moves here. Files again under center with three in the backfield. Harris in motion. Another fake handoff as there's Files throwing. He throws it up deep to Lamb as it finds Lamb as he is going all the way for the touchdown. Lamb scores as this game is still in grasp for Farmington. 28 to 20 right now on a huge, almost 60 yard play to Eli Lamb. This Knights team has some fight left in them. It's a one-score game with 5.30 left. It's anybody's game right now. Kel Krause now back for the extra point as he puts it up. And, of course, it's good. 28-21. It's a one-score game now as Farmington will be kicking it off. Um, they might go for the onside kick. I could see uh, Farmington going for that, but of course, uh, success rate is low. They might just be better off putting it in the back of the end zone, hoping to try to start with some good field position. Um, but this festive team can be deadly on offense. You know, four touchdowns here tonight. Uh, you don't want to sleep on them and have them catch you lacking when you're this close in this game. And there's a chance for you to win. But Farmington for sure has to stop him quick and hurry up on uh hurry up back on offense. D 
the uh, Festus corners have been caught deep today a couple times by Caden Files. Um, just really have not been able to match the speed of our receivers on the far outsides, really. Um, this is definitely more than the Farmington Knights I've ever thrown in a football game that I, I've actually watched, or at least for sure this year. It's Kale Kraus now is set to kick it off. On the last kickoff, Kale uh, kicked. It came off a little weird on his foot, really rolled away rather than um, you know, coming off the boot. Let's see how he kicks it. He just puts it up, hoping to put it in a weird angle as... Sam Nicholson cannot catch the defender. He's breaking down the sideline and gets pushed out of bounds a little bit. Close to about the 45-50 yard line. Decent field position for the Festus Tigers, but um, this Knights defense comes out now. Needs to stop him here to uh, potentially save their season. You can imagine the Festus team running the ball here with a um, limited amount of time left in this game, trying to close it out. Festus now under center. The ball's in motion. They're running it. Stops the man in the backfield. Little to no gain. The Knights have two times out, two time, time outs, and uh, Festus has three left. Twenty-one, twenty-eight. Festus leading now with five minutes left in this fourth. Remember, you still have your two-minute warning timeout uh, as well. Any injury timeouts would stop the clock. You know, God forbid any injuries, but um all factors that can change the game as it comes to stopping the clock for certain teams as there's another handoff for Festus as he will get about 4 or 5 there third down Farmington wants the stop right here that'd be the most ideal you can imagine Festus will be going for it on fourth down cuz they can push to a first down you know that's just even more time they can chip away off this clock Farmington wants this right here, right now, though. Um, potentially knock Festus out. Here comes this Knights defense. Festus now quarterback under center, surveying this defense. As there's the handoff, Daltonberg wraps him up. As he gets taken down. You got almost like an Iron Curtain kind of thing going on right here. Three thirty-eight left in this game. Fourth and nine. What is Festus gonna do? Festus now lining up fourth and nine. As they're going to call a timeout, I'm going to imagine. I didn't think they're going to allow the delay a game. Fourth and nine, 318 left in this game. A Knights trail 28 21. They need to get the ball back now. To score the ball to force OT or potentially even win. Say you go for the two points. Um, this could potentially be the night's season right here if they don't uh, manage to come up big. Sectionals football at its finest. Or my bad, District's football at its finest. Royce Harris back deep now. Guessing Festus would be putting her back. Uh, don't want to give Farmington that kind of field possession with three minutes to go in the game. You can imagine Farmington, as long as they don't get uh, turned over on downs, would use every bit of this clock that they can to try to tie it up. 
as it's a weird kick away. Royce Harris now won't even be going for it as it'll come out to about the 21, maybe the 20 yard line. As now we enter what might potentially be the Farmington Knights last offensive drive of the season if they can't put any points on the board. As I will reset the scene coming into this final drive, first and 10, 28, 21, Festus Tigers lead with three minutes and nine seconds left in this game as Caden Files now takes control of this offense under center. Tyson Gray is in motion. Files now drops back on the little pitch. Tyson Gray now has a lot of open field in front of him. Cuts back, beats a man or two, and moves the ball to about the 30-yard line, close to a first down. Second and one to go. Clock is taken away. 2.40 left in this game. You can imagine they're not going to use any timeouts until about the two-minute warning. Or until after, anyway. Royce Harris now in motion. Caden Files has the ball. Flicks it out to Royce Harris. Breaks one man, sets the stiff arm, and gets pulled out of bounds. Time stops for Farmington, but it is a third down. And I'd imagine about four to go. There's actually a flag against the Knights for holding. Second and 11 now. Down doesn't count. They can just get pushed back five extra yards. Caden Files now on the handoff. Gets stopped up the middle. As it is third and 11 now, third and 12 potentially. Ryan Barnes was on the carry, third and 14 actually. On the play now, Caden Files drop back to pass, throws it up deep to Sam Nicholson as the ball gets tipped and falls away. Fourth and 14 with a minute and a half to go. You can only imagine Farmington would have to go for it here. Farmington fans not exactly the happiest right now. One thirty seven left in this game, twenty eight twenty one Festus. Timeout for Farmington talking over the game plan. Farmington's offense now coming back on to the field. Potentially the last play for their offense right here. Caden Files now running way back. Throws the ball deep. No, 
good turnover on downs. Surprised there wasn't an offensive inter or a pass interference or anything right there, surprisingly. There actually was. There was a flag on Festus, if I'm not mistaken. There's still a minute 31 left in this game. It was a personal foul against the Tigers, and now it's going to be a first down for the Knights now. New set of downs to work with. 130 left in the game. Still a one-score game. Second chance of life here. Caden Files now ready. He's about to take the helm under center. Files now drops back, has some pressure already. Puts it up in the air, incomplete. Uh, the moment Files broke away for that uh, pass, instantly had some pressure coming at him. Second and 10 now. Minute and 20 left in this game. Farmington now lining up again. Caden Files under center. Plenty of, of backs in the backfield. Handoff as there is a flag on the play. Eli Lane puts a little spin move on and gets about to 45. See what the flag on the field is. It was an illegal shift against the Knights. That's got to hurt in a position like this. Second and 10. 116 left in the game. They got to make something happen very soon. Second and 15 now. Caden Files now drops back for the pass. Puts it up deep to Sam Nicholson as he can't hold on to the catch. Third down with a minute left in this game. Sam Nicholson's clearly upset after dropping the pass. Third and 15, minute left in this game, Farmington. Caden falls under center. There's the fake. Under a minute to go now. Knights call a timeout. Fourth and 13.
57 seconds left in this game. If the Knights don't come away with the score right here, it will be an end to their season as Festus will moving on to play West Plains, one of the better schools in the state for sure. Both teams are quite similar, quite uh, competitive together. Let's see what they end up doing. Caden Files under center. Fourth. And Farmington will call another timeout bat right away. Oh, Festus will call a timeout. My bad. Throughout most of this game, Festus has um, really dominated the run game. <clears throat> Farmington, for the most part, stuck to the run game until these uh, later stages. They came up to the pass. It's really, uh, it really worked for him as this game went on a little bit. Um, kind of a shame to see we haven't seen a little bit more throughout the season. A lot of these deep balls, it's worked for the most part. Um, as Fourth and 13 now, one timeout remaining between both teams. Farmington's down by a score with 57 seconds left. They got to make it 13 yards to keep their season alive. Ruiz Harris now in motion. Caden Files drops back, has to avoid a sack, and he just dives forward. As Festus will take over on downs now and move on in. District play. Fifty seconds left in this game. Like I said, Festus really showed out today with how good they can run the ball, how consistent they can um, always be, how repetitive they can be, and the same thing still work over and over again. Um, early in the game, Farmington really couldn't pick up on a lot of the switches and options they had working for him, and it was uh, very confusing. But as the game went on, the defense could obviously get better as they uh, came in this half. or Well, uh, early in this half, they were down 21-7, to you got to remember. And then as the game went on, of course, 28-21. Farmington definitely played uh, the better second half of football, you could say. But in the end, uh, it's just they couldn't get it done. Festus will be moving on. Congratulations to the Festus Tigers for being uh for beating this team. Both teams were very competitive here tonight. And for your Farmer Tonight's football season, that will do it. I'm Chucky Lambert here, uh doing the play by play play by play coverage of your final 2018-2019 Farmer Tonight's football season. I'll be happy to talk to you guys come basketball. That'll do it here on this Friday night. I'll see you all next time.